chicos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos una semana más al bloque de Acceso 5, líder sudamericano en juegos online, gratuitos y en tu idioma. Mi nombre es Joa y vamos a ver cuáles son las actualizaciones de esta semana. Bueno, en Operation 7 tenemos el nuevo evento Perks de Operation 7. Para este evento deberán crear hasta 5 Perks o también lo que se conoce como bonificaciones para ser utilizadas dentro del juego. Por ejemplo, eh, cuando estás agachado y utilizas un cuchillo, te vuelves invisible. O también puede ser de que te quedes sin, sin balas para tu cargador y te aumenta la velocidad hasta 50%. Tendrán que crear de 3 a 5 bonificaciones, las cuales deberán funcionar en el formato acción-resultado. O sea, si haces X, sucede Y. Y pueden tener chances expresadas en porcentaje. Se seleccionarán a los 3 ganadores en base a las bonificaciones más creativas y de mayor impacto en el juego. Cada uno se llevará un pack genial de premios por 60 días y tienen para participar hasta el 14 de octubre. Esta semana también les traemos el nuevo episodio de Links Magazine para octubre, así que vamos a verlo. Hola, acabas de ingresar a Links Magazine, el programa de acceso 5. ¿Ready? El 9 y 10 de agosto, en Lima, Perú, vivimos el evento gamer más importante de Latinoamérica, el Acceso Fest. Así se vivió. Corre nuestros breakers esta semana pues bueno para todos ellos les trajimos una emocionante y terrorífica actualización para el mes de octubre tenemos el nuevo conjunto de payaso desquiciado además de un 20% de descuento en el conjunto de brujo y su arma así que breakers prepárense para el mes del miedo y vamos a ver si sobreviven también esta semana les damos la bienvenida a dos nuevos gms seitoshi y white chaos Tampoco se olviden de participar en los eventos que nos trae cada semana nuestras GMs Peiri Barbie y Polka Vodka con el mapa de la semana. Y en Runescape esta semana nos trae un nuevo entre bastidores con los detalles de lo nuevo que nos trae para el mes de octubre. Eh, bueno, este es uno de los favoritos para sus desarrolladores, así que vamos a verlo. This week, Mod Mark returns to talk ghosts, 
ghouls and everything else that goes bump in the night. Ever wondered how fast you could progress through RuneScape without the help of anyone else? Iron Man is a brand new way of playing RuneScape, developed by you, but now with official support from Jagex. It's all about self-sufficiency, earning or making everything you use when playing the game. You can create a new account and set it to Iron Man mode and off you go, fending for yourself and knowing that all of your achievements are your own. If you'd like an even greater challenge, our hardcore Iron Man mode features permadeath with two earnable lives, but after that it's game over. There are brand new high score tables to support each of the modes, so you'll be able to gloat about your extreme experiences to everyone. Since it's dark and mysterious outside, the ninjas have been especially busy preparing a suitably powerful update for you this month. Enjoy a new Divination D&D as voted by you in the polls, entering Guthix's hidden rune caches and gathering ancient memories of Guthix, used to improve your divination experience and divination related activities. Mod Chris L and his familiars have been busy improving the way summoned creatures behave in the game, making them far more useful than ever before. Familiars will now get involved in combat straight away and keep fighting until you tell them otherwise. They will defend you if you come under attack but you're busy with other things. They can store their own scrolls and can even be told how frequently to use those scrolls with their special attacks. We've also improved the way charge summoning helmets work, updated the summoning side panel and added a give all button to be of Burden. That's just a few of the improvements included in the update that week, so make sure you try out all of the new benefits with your favourite summons once it's live. After a poll earlier in the year, you told us that ghosts and beasts needed better drops. Since the ghosts were getting so much love during this spooky month, it seemed an appropriately beastly time for the update to go live, or dead, depending on which way you look at it. All drop tables for ghosts and beasts have now been rebalanced to make them more interesting and valuable, and high-level Slayer targets have been particularly well-treated, especially the legendary Dark Beasts. You'll even find new Ranger Boots scattered across a range of those creatures, and perhaps some special new upgrades for some ghostly tools, but more on that later. We have a great new quest and a cracking new Halloween event for you to stick your fangs into. In the event, available to all players and with no requirements, you'll be called back to Death's House to help deal with a horde of evil yet slightly disturbed ghosts who are causing death all sorts of troubles. Help raise his spirits by strapping on a proto pack, supercharge it with active ectoplasm and track those pesky ghosts down before they scare you to death. Look out for J-Mods using their powers to summon demons, turn you into ghosts, or even spook out Gilinor by morphing into furniture! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's right! What could be spookier than furniture? All jokes aside, our Halloween quest is a far more serious and disturbing tale. Sometimes we like to make something a little different from the normal RuneScape fair, something a bit darker, designed to chill the warmest of hearts. Our quest this month will try to do just that. I'm loath to give you too much detail about the quest, but it's a novice level, members only, non-combat, puzzle solving, cerebral affair, with high level content hidden in its rewards. In fact, it's the first ever totally replayable quest, with growing difficulty as you try its more fiendish features. As well as XP, rewards include some pretty tasty rings that can help restore your special attack or your adrenaline levels. Solomon's been busy too, and he rolls out the new epic rest animations this month with cool world draining animation effects, martial arts moves, and an impling dance, and we've a few Halloween inspired features in Treasure Hunter too. I'm hugely looking forward to meeting all of our RuneScape fans at RuneFest this year, but if you don't have a ticket, you won't miss out. Check out our website and Twitch channel during the event, as we'll be streaming the whole event live for free. Save the date! Saturday 11th of October. There's some special announcements and plenty of juicy information about what we've got in store for you later in the year and even a look ahead to next year, so make sure you tune in. Until then, Wooters out.
Y este fue el video que nos trajo Runscape. Y como vieron, mañana es el evento principal de Runscape del año, el Runfest. Y recuerden que podrán seguirlo entrando a www.runfest.com. Y bueno, eso fue todo por hoy en Acceso 5, líder sudamericano en juegos online, gratuitos y en tu idioma. Mi nombre es Joa y no se olviden de entrar a www.acceso5.com o dejar sus mensajes en nuestra página de Facebook. ¡Chao! You can enter the next chapter of Yu-Gi-Oh! with a new way to summon, Pendulum Monsters. You can add the latest cards to your deck, plus two power-up packs with Starter Deck Space-Time Showdown. Each deck sold separately. Konami. Dos siempre es mejor que uno. Duplicamos tus recargas para llamar a cualquier destino nacional. Solo recarga tu celular prepago desde 3 soles. Gala, porque lo que somos es lo mejor que tenemos.